Hey everybody, I just finished my very first book in the Rotten School series. This is a book series that I never really heard about as a kid. I didn't really learn anything about these books until adulthood. And uh, yeah, this review is going to be very short because it's going to be very easy to spoil. And this book is actually really short too. Um, I do like the fact that they come in hardcover. Like the whole series is hardcover. I do have some paperback copies of some of these books, but uh, yeah. Figured August would be the perfect time to actually read some of these. Um, the first book in the series is called The Blueberry, the Big Blueberry Barf Off. Actually, in my review for Instagram, I didn't realize it said The Big Blueberry Barf Off. I thought it said The Blueberry Barf Off. But yeah. <clears throat> the story itself starts off with, like, well, starts off with like a little prologue thing with like a principal's announcement. And it's got this little guy up here in the front um, announcing. I don't know what that thing is supposed to be, but I don't think it tells me. Um, but yeah, um, we're quickly introduced after that to Bernie Bridges, which is a character who likes to uh, make money and different things like that. He sells um, shirts that has his name on there. He has a poster of himself in his room. So he's very, you know, um, he kind of reminds me of the kid from the Bailey School Kid series. I, I can't think of what his name is right now without reading a book. But that's that's immediately what I thought of when I kind of got into this book, but. There's a lot of very colorful characters in this book series so far. Um, we have Bernie Bridges, you know him. We have this girl named April May June, which is his love interest. Um, we have this kid named Belzer, which is a guy that wears a shirt that says, ask me about my allergies, and he doesn't have allergies. He has braces and stuff like that. There's two guys that are uh, kind of written to be like really dumb. Um, one's name is like Crinch and the other, I don't remember what his name is. Um, my favorite character so far is this guy named Beast, who is actually this character on the front cover. And he's this hairy, really large guy that walks on his hands or on all fours, hands and feet. <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah, um, yeah. So basically what happens is Bernie Bridges sees this guy named Sherman who comes from this rival school called the Nice School, but it's spelled N Y C E. And he come he comes over and he has got all these kids around him, and they're all mesmerized. And he is showing off this watch that he got that has like a piano inside of it, um, a like a water gun, all kinds of crazy stuff. And Bernie Bridges basically becomes jealous because April May June is very interested in uh, this Sherman guy's watch. Um. So basically, he tries to come up with a plot to steal the watch from him. And what that plot is, is a eating contest. But not with them too. Bernie um, gets Beast to be on his side and tries to trick him into, you know, picking somebody for from his team. And he picks this kid, who I don't remember his name. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. There's nothing crazy that happens here. I didn't laugh out loud. It was This is a humorous series from R.L. Stein and... I've actually not read a lot of humorous stuff by Stein. I've been mostly strictly horror stuff that I've always read, but I am interested to read everything by Stein. So, yeah, I figured it would be fun to kind of start off with the series and see how they go. Um, the ending, I will say, um, is very, very nice. Um, basically what happens is, well, I can't really spoil what happens, <laughs> but it's really cute, and I actually enjoyed that, so... I'm actually going to give this kind of a higher rating than normal. I mean, I would have gave it a 3 out of 5 anyway because it was nothing insulting. It was just, it depends on your sense of humor. I mean, this is targeted towards kids, not towards me. I didn't laugh, you know, a lot. But, I mean, I didn't laugh at all. But, I mean, some of the stuff was pretty funny. Like when Bernie is actually trying to get April, May, June to go out with him. And she basically turns him down. He says, so is that a yes? So, it, you know, it, it's really cool. And there's a scene towards the end that he does something that's really, really noble and really nice. And I, I enjoyed that. So I actually gave the first book in the Rotten School series a four out of five stars. Um, pretty fun little book. Um, very quick. I think I can finish the series pretty fast. But yeah, I'm interested to see where the series goes. And uh, I'm interested to see if they get any better, like what all kind of characters we run into and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's it for me. This is just another little small book review for this series. This is a... Uh, Rotten School, The Big Blueberry Bar 5. Four out of five stars from you guys. Please let me know if you read any of these books. What's your favorites? I highly doubt that these are going to be uh, <laughs> very talked about in this little YouTube channel I got going on. But 
yeah, I want to read everything by Stein, so expect more of these, you know, God willing that I'll uh, post more of these. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Thanks. Bye.